Hello viewers, this is attorney Naresh M. Gehi and we are going to discuss about the fraud waivers for nationals of India. So sometimes it so happens that people commit a fraud and there are different ways they commit a, commit a fraud. For example, you try to come to America on a different name in the US in the past and your visa was denied, your visitor visa got denied and thereafter you found your family member like your mother or your father or your wife who has sponsored you for a green card. So now if you have committed any kind of fraud and if the concert officer finds out that there's a fraud then you are allowed to apply for a waiver under certain circumstances. So take an example that uh, you had applied for a visit visa and uh, you know your visa got denied because the concert officer found that you had submitted fraudulent documents or you committed any other kind of a fraud like a document fraud which means you put in a fake birth certificate or you put in fake tax returns and now the concert found that out and they denied your visa on grounds of fraud now in future it so happens that your father your mother or your spouse who's a u.s citizen has sponsored you for a green card. So now, once if they sponsor you for the green card, when the matter comes up before the consulate, the consulate is going to tell you that the consular officer is going to tell you that you are allowed to file for a fraud waiver. So in these instances, you should consider filing a fraud waiver. Filing a fraud waiver is not easy, especially because the law on the point is that under Section 212 of the Immigration and Nationality Act, a person has to show extreme hardship. So to prove extreme hardship, you have to show that the U.S. citizen or the permanent resident, commonly referred to as the green card holder, will suffer a lot of hardship if this case is not granted. So in a sense, the documentation has to be extensive and the hardship has to be proven to the U.S. citizen relative or to, a, to the green card holder relative, who can be your parents, like your mother who's a citizen, your father who's a citizen, or like if there's any other sponsor, you can still show hardship to your parents who are green card holders. And uh, for example, if your brother sponsored you, and if you had your father as a green card holder, hardship can still be shown to them. At the same time, if you have a spouse who's a green card holder, or who's a citizen, if, if you can prove extreme hardship, your case can still be granted. There are some important things for people to know under Section 212I of the Immigration and Nationality Act that fraud waivers are very important and you cannot show hardship to children. So there are people who have children who are your citizens. Unfortunately, the law does not, require, uh, does not allow you to show hardship to children. So for fraud waivers, the hardship can be shown to parents who are U.S. citizens or green card holders. The hardship can be shown to your spouse who is a green card holder or a U.S. citizen. So anytime you're confronted with a fraud situation, remember the law on the point is extreme hardship.